Being told you have stage three lung cancer might be intimidating, but it's still very treatable. I find stage three lung cancer the most interesting of all the stages because it's such a broad group and the treatment options have to be so personalized to the individual situation. So what does having stage three lung cancer mean? I think of stage three lung cancer as locally advanced lung cancer. That means either the primary tumor has grown quite large or it spread to lymph nodes in the center of the chest or sometimes even further afield. The reason the treatment needs to be so personalized and unique to you is because the lymph nodes can be in different places. To classify this as stage three lung cancer, it has to be the lymph nodes in the chest or the N3 nodes we talked about in the other video. So their lymph nodes are either on the other side of the chest to the lung cancer or in areas such as the area just above the clavicle, that's the collarbone. Treatments for stage three lung cancer are still often aiming at a cure, but because it's more advanced than stage one lung cancer, the treatment needs to be a lot more involved and in some cases a lot more intensive. By that I mean, you're not just gonna have one type of treatment for this type of cancer. Stage three lung cancer always requires a combined approach. The first thing I ask when I meet somebody with stage three lung cancer is could this be resected? Could it be removed completely with an operation? I don't make that decision by myself. I ask my colleagues, I ask a thoracic surgeon, I'll ask the radiologist, and I usually do that in the context of a multidisciplinary team meeting. If the lymph nodes that are involved are just in the center of the chest, and it can be safely removed with an operation, then I would talk to you about having chemotherapy and immunotherapy first, then an operation, and then immunotherapy after the operation too. That approach of course requires you to have good lung function, and come out of the operation without troublesome symptoms. Similarly to stage two lung cancer, if you have a driver mutation for your cancer, something like an EGFR mutation, will go straight to an operation and then you'll have targeted therapy afterwards. There may be technical reasons why you can't have an operation. For instance, if your tumor is pressing on other vital structures, making an operation where all of the cancer is removed impossible. In those situations, I'll talk about combining chemotherapy with radiotherapy and follow that up with immunotherapy or targeted therapy after the combined chemoradiotherapy. That's still a curative approach. Chemotherapy is given at the same time as the radiotherapy and the radiotherapy in this instance can be quite long. To give that radiotherapy safely, it's divided up into daily doses over about six to six and a half weeks of treatment. At the end of that chemo radiotherapy portion, I'll be doing a CT scan to see how well you've responded. If the cancer's stabilized or shrunk, I'll then be starting immunotherapy with a drug called Devalumab for 12 months after the chemo radiotherapy is finished. If you have a driving mutation, such as an EGFR mutation, I would recommend that you have a drug called Ozimertinib after the chemo radiotherapy portion. Before starting any treatment for stage three lung cancer, you must have an MRI scan of your brain just to make sure that the cancer hasn't spread there. You'll already have had a PET scan to look at the cancer in the body. After you've finished all of this treatment, you'll be having regular scans because if the cancer does come back, you want to find out early so you can have active management of that recurrence. Questions I'd be asking after chemo radiotherapy is, is there now a role for surgery? Now you've got control and you've shrunken the cancer, can my tumor now be safely removed? So what makes lung cancer stage three is pretty much what's happening with the lymph nodes. Are the lymph nodes in the center of the chest or lymph nodes on the other side of the chest or above the collarbone involved? While you need more than one type of treatment to get control of this, treatment is still aiming at cure. Talk to your oncologist about what success and what your personal odds are. In the next video, we're going to talk about stage four lung cancer, and we're going to talk about what the options are for advanced lung cancer. I'm Dr. James Wilson. Let's make cancer less confusing.